Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to overlap audio files within the music software Audacity. This way you can layer sounds on top of one another. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open. And in order to layer sounds, you're going to first import your first file that you have. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go up to the left-hand side and click on File. And you want to click on Import Audio. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then it's going to bring up uh, some audio options that I have that I can import. And I'm going to add the first one here. It's a music file. So let's go ahead and add that. And then once you have it selected, you can click open. And you'll see that it has imported or added that audio file into Audacity. And so now if you would like to overlay another sound on top of that audio, what you can do is add another audio file. And you're going to want to import that as well. So go up to file and then click on import. And you're going to find a different file. Let's go ahead and find one that has some speaking. So let's go with the test audio here. I'll press open. And so you can see it added another audio file on the bottom there. Now you can see the first audio file is much longer. And the second audio file is much shorter. And that's okay. If you need to zoom in or out of the audio, just go ahead into this zoom button here. And so now these two audio files are playing on top of one another. So let's go ahead and play that so you can hear what it sounds like. This is how you export an MP3 file in Audacity. Okay, so you can see it was an example that I used in a previous video, but you can hear the music is pretty loud in this one. So what I want to do is I can actually change the volume of that. To select the entire track, you press this area here, it will turn gray so you know the entire track is selected. Then once you have that selected, you go up to Effect and click on Amplify. And so amplifying, you can go ahead and change the volume of that track. And so I'm going to go ahead and just lower it and see what it sounds like here. You can always preview it if you'd like to, but I'm just going to try it out. So you can see it's much less now. And then if I want to, let's say, bring this file higher, you can do the same thing, use the amplify effect. Now I'm going to play this so you can hear what it sounds like. This is how you export an MP3 file. So you can see it's a much better balance between the two. And again, you can continue to play with those settings for overlapping sound. Now, let's say you would like to move audio around now that you have two different audios. So what you need to do there is go to the time shift tool here. And so it's F5. And on the newer Audacity, it might be uh, called something differently. And you can just uh, go ahead and use that to move around. So this is, uh, now that I have that selected, you can see I can move this audio. So I can line it up with the end of the second track there. So that means this track will play first and then this track. So again, but this uh, is mostly showing you how to overlap or overlay audio on top of one another. One last thing for layering sound within Audacity. Let's say I wanted to record some audio on top of this. I can go ahead and just press the record button. And now I can go ahead and record some audio here. And so you can see it went to the end of the first track and recorded it at the end. It did add another track here. So we have one, two, three tracks. You can always uh, you know, collapse these if you want to see all of the audio and how they're lining up. And so now you can see I can take that time shift tool and kind of move that audio that I just recorded. And I can move it somewhere maybe to be part of the end of that uh, audio file on the top there. Just to, so you know, whenever you export this audio, it's going to export the entire track to the end of the last audio. So this one is two minutes long. So it will go ahead and export something that's two minutes long. In order to do that, you will go up to File, Export, and then export as an MP3 or a WAV file, whichever you would like. WAV is a little higher quality. MP3 is uh, a not as good quality, but it's a smaller file. So sometimes they're easier to manage. And again, you would just change the file name and so on and press Save. And once you export that, you would have a completed file that has those layered sounds just the way you arranged it within Audacity. So you now know how to overlay sounds within Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.